I've had this machine on YouTube, and uh, I've done a few different things to it. I've added some sheet metal with a full coolant pump. So now it's a full CNC machine. And unlike uh, the other video where I machined a part, I'm just going to do tool changes and turn the coolant pump on and off. It was a, that it was a little boring, too long. You know? So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, reset my G codes, hit start, and the coolant comes on. Changes the tool number two. It's about a seven second tool change. And it has a sliding door before it opens and closes. So it keeps coolant off here. The coolant now is a little air. Is, uh, you can adjust the angle of it. You can also adjust the, uh, the flow rate. So here's the steps of the tool change. You'll see up here, this is the drawbar release mechanism up here. First, first the orient is straight up, then the release, slide comes in, release tool, slide comes in, slide out. I'll do it again, I didn't do a very good job there. First thing it does is it orients the spindle, then the tool changes, uh, releases the tool, slide down. <clears throat> Index the tool, slide up, slide back. That's a tool change. About seven or eight seconds. It, uh, this has a flash cut control on it, which is really a good control. It's very user friendly. I call it a plug and play because you can literally be up and running in 15 minutes and to interface uh, anything to the to the uh, control is very simple. It's all done on screen. They're very simple. We have uh, 16 outputs and 16 inputs. So you just go to configuration and uh, type in what the M code is and tell it where output line it's on and uh, that's it. So uh, you want to get a close up to the tool change so they can see it closer. My son Brad here, he's a, he's the camera. I did my other uh, videos with my I, iPhone, and uh, it, it worked all right, but it's much better quality. Brad, Brad can get in there and edit it and cut me out if he has to. <laughs> Spin up the spindle is infinitely variable, goes up to uh, 3,000 RPM as a vector drive for the spindle. That's a pretty good torque. The ratio between the uh, motor and the spindle is 1.7 to 1. So the sweet spot is around 700 RPM. So it's right in a good area for another little tap and jet mode and so forth like that. Alright, well, this thing is set on a continuous loop, so <clears throat> you won't you just keep going. I put these pockets in here. The table goes back in these pockets. Why I did that was to uh, cut, you can pull these, these cut tubs off <clears throat> and it cuts the shipping space down by quite a bit. So, you know, the shipping is space and volume, weight, you know. So, uh, this guy's all we got to steel. Yeah, this is the back of the machine. Some of the things I've added. Since this column goes up and down, I had to add this flex loop in here to give it uh, travel room up and down. There's a door that comes out of here where you reach in there and clean up your chips. I got another door coming because this was a little narrow. Then on the side, there's a door here that opens up. And in there is all your electronic controls. So you see the uh, the flash got the uh, signal generator, you see uh, or the, my PC, you see the axis drives for the brushless uh, DC servos, and then uh, that's the little vector drive for the spindle motor. It's all painted and powder coated and ready to go. Now I'm going to make some parts up, see if anybody wants to buy these things. <laughs> that's about it for me. Coolant pump sits down here. Here's the coolant pump down here. 
It is a uh, pump in there. Alright, that's about it. So, anyways, I hope you like our new video and I hope you like our sheet metal. I'll be looking forward to some comments on it. I've had a lot of fun with this project. Uh, you know, typically, I do a whole lot project. I have fun, but I don't make money. <laughs> All right, that's it. Goodbye. Ich bin Alin Sasan.